Hello, I'd like to continue with you today talking about the tips and tricks on how to locate canals. And before we proceed, I'd like to thank uh, Cliff Ruddle, my very good friend, for sharing some of his material with me, as well as Dr. Bill Johnson, who is the author of this book, Color Atlas of Aeronautics, and I appreciate very much his contributions. And then we talk about, as we promised, this is we move the videos, and this is the first one talking about the floor anatomy. As you can see here, the dark lines, to me, this is the key point, the floor anatomy. It will help you locate the canal, finding the orifices, and of course you have to have, the canal should be wet, and maybe you should use also a lubricant to do that. Then we talk about explorer pressure, and as you can see, we said we don't have an endo it's called an explorer because you simply keep scratching the floor of the fork chamber until you find the catch and then you try to oh, proceed with this catch and with of course with lubrication and a lot of fluids irrigation then you should be able to locate the canals as you can see in the picture here so the third one would be the uh, the bleeding time as you can see on this picture here if you look at the canal orifice and you see the the line the very fine line with the bleeding points and if you look at the ones the picture on the right you can see what the orifice the extra orifice is it's a very odd position and you look back to the left and you can see that the bleeding lines were there and the same concept in mind when you see the white lines as you see in this one and also you see them accentuated there the sections. Now, direction control theory has been there by David Green back in 72 and when it says whenever you have, as you can see, the canal is on one side, it's not in the middle of the route, you look for the canal, the other canal on the other side and you definitely find one. And then we go into the sparkling test, people also call it champagne test and you see that the effervescence and the sparkling sparkling of the irrigation and that can be also seen through the trans illumination this could be another hint locating this the orifices the very fine orifices of the canals lastly would be the dye test where you can use a dye and here we're lucky to to even uh, label a crack there and also when you have orifices you use the methylene blue dye and you wash you'll find the Remnants are being taken with the orifices, if any. So, before we conclude, I'd like to tell you that I don't find this helpful in my hands. The books, always you can see that each cusp would have an orifice under the cusp. So sometimes you have teeth that are very badly destroyed and there's no references to begin with. So, to me, I'd like to see very clearly, and I use the mirror front surface mirror particularly is much more helpful gives you a more clearer picture than the plane and of course some sort of magnification as you can see in the pictures on the right will definitely make you see better and finally this is the picture as you can see here the direction control theory the arrow in blue is the canal that was found and instrumented and obturated and you can see while the file is in the extra canal the one in the red would be in case you have only one canal not two of course and if we talk about the uh, magnification it's a must you can use start from loops 2.5 3.5 microscopes and we end up with the beautiful pro ergo the car lies in the picture on the left but that's that's it depends on your abilities and how can you use it. So thank you very much and I think uh, for the next post we're supposed to talk about a step by step how to do it. Thank you very much.